or YouTube was great, but he's always fun to watch. Our tail of the tape brought to you by Space City Collective. The reach and height advantage for the 24-year-old Donovan Manuel in this lightweight showdown. Corey Windham, Donovan Manuel. Manuel is inside, so let's get our official introduction. The following contest brought to you by Space City Collective is scheduled for three rounds of the Fury FC Lightweight Division. Introducing your first competitor fighting out of the blue corner. This mixed martial artist is five feet, nine inches tall, and he weighed in officially at 155.2 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque by way, by way of Santa Fe, New Mexico, his professional record stands at one win, one loss, this is Corey Wyndham! And introducing his opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner. This freestyle fighter stands five feet, 10 inches tall, and he weighed in at 155.4 pounds. Fighting out of Houston, Texas, today, he seeks his first win as a pro. Here is young, rich, and handsome, Donovan Manuel! Your referee in charge of the action, Professor Joe Solis. Alex Murnau gave him that nickname if anyone wants to know. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> Young, rich, and handsome. Even if you have two out of three of those, you're pretty good. Like it's, wow. <laughs> he has all three. <laughs> See Corey Wyndham with a much taller stance. Donovan with a really strong tempo. It's going to be hard to pick up on, up on when he comes in really hard with punches. But he keeps hitting that little bounce and that in and out. There from Donovan. Oof. Slapping low kick there from Corey. And Donovan with that wider stance, like you said, Alex. He is bouncing. Oh, hold on. Both guys threw kicks at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> that happens. Especially from the open stance. It's split right up the middle. I was going to say, Alex, with the wider stance from Donovan, he is susceptible to those leg kicks and, you know, kind of planning on those leg kicks a little more than, you know, standing a little taller, you're able to get lighter on those feet just a little bit quicker. So it makes those leg kicks just a little bit harder to check, but he'll get it figured out. In fact, that's part of Corey's plan is to work on those legs as much as he can. And everything is good now. We resume. Good bounce again from Donovan. Let's let him slide right out of these big kicks. You can already see on the way the way Donovan is performing right now. It's so much different when you don't have a wrestler who's has that collegiate background and yeah. that fear of like any moment this could go to the ground this could be a lot of trouble and it was like there were really bad moments in that fight but you can just see he's a little bit more loose. free yeah, yeah. And free yeah and even like in our fights last night in the ufc with mateus gamrat versus rafael dos Anjos, like gamrat's wrestling is so good like rda got up but gamrat got him down like hit the control time just a really hard factor to beat. Yeah, when you have a high-level wrestler like that, it's almost works against you to get them in a little bit of trouble because <laughs> they're going to sell out yeah. to get you to get this, you know, to get this to the mat, get this on, and be on top. And we don't have to worry about that. Big, uh, big plus in the game plan.
And there's two wrestlers I think of that are just all action. One is Jacoby Smith. I mean, you wouldn't even know he's a wrestler because he's knocking guys out. And then two fighting later today is James Ford. And he'll really get guys down, but man, he's active with his ground and pound and submission game. Yeah, he's so much fun to watch. James Ford, you're going to love that fight taking on Manuel Garcia, who has so much heart. And this is going to be a tough matchup for him. That's going to be coming up on our main card on UFC Fight Pass at 4.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. Make sure you join us there. Paris Moran making his first title defense as well as the flyweight champion. Yeah, I mean, for my money, talking about James Ford and Jacoby Smith, I mean, if you can wrestle that good and make it exciting, and, I mean, that's the, I mean, that's almost the magic pill. I mean, that, yeah. that's very difficult, you know, to have such brutal ground and pound, have knockout power, and be such a high-level wrestler. I mean, it's, that's definitely hard to deal with. And some superb takedown defense here from Donovan Manuel. Right hand over the top there from Corey. Oh. Uh oh. I try to secure a rear choke from the side standing. Donovan doing a good job of staying out of bad positions there. That can turn very ugly very fast. Donovan doing a good job of controlling the position. Oh, Donovan rolled with the kick. I say roll with the punches, he rolled with that high kick. Hit him in like the shoulder. And great job by Rich Burmaster on this matchup. I mean, this is a great matchup. It really is. All right, good. Entertaining start to our second pro fight of our prelim broadcast. Thank you for joining us. Round two coming up here shortly. Take a look at our round one highlights. Yeah, you saw Donovan Manuel here, kind of closing the distance. He did a great job of staying out of bad positions here. He did take a few leg kicks. Corey was able to land a few punches, but it just seemed like Donovan always is in the, ended up in the better position. Even when he was defensive, you see here, even when he was defensive, he didn't give up his back. He didn't turn the wrong way. He turned exactly the way he should. He stayed tall. So all those things are, you know, the things that good fighters are going to do, Donovan was able to do in that round. And the guys are fighting at like a kicking range and the wrestling range. So now Donovan's not quite able to get off the, the punches he's hoping to land. Corey really using a strong kicking arsenal for his style and range of striking. You see he's changed his stance though a little bit, Alex. He's squatting a little bit more. He's kind of protecting against that takedown. Maybe he thinks that they're gonna take him, try to take him down. He was standing really, really tall in the first round. A bit wider stance. Ooh, mm. Yeah, definitely more loaded on that stance. He opened up a big combo there, but Donovan absorbed it, reacted very, very well. Fired right back, got right back in his face. Like an axe, it was like an axe kick, I think. Good kicking game. Yeah, here, he's Corey. really opening it up now. Is Corey Wyndham just missing the sweet spot too? Donovan doing a good job of keeping his head and face completely out of the way. Not, not completely out of the way, but making those just glance and.
And that's why Donovan's not been able to really un let his hands go as much as he'd like. It was even a, a well set up left hand. He went jab, jab, cross to try to hit it, but the moment he was just ever so slightly out of position, he really looked to change levels and shoot. Before he tried that trip there on the break, unsuccessful. Donovan again doing a good job of staying out of position, out of those troubled positions. Over him right there. Oh man, Corey Wyndham just unloaded there. I think Corey thought he stunned Donovan a little bit because he kind of went on the attack very aggressively. Halfway through round two. He is throwing that right with everything he has. This Wyndham. <laughs> I, I don't know if that hurt Corey if he was just like disappointed in getting his kick caught. <laughs> Corey's all business. Even like in the walkout into the cage, I mean, he's just been super focused. fight where he got KO'd he came out really aggressive to Corey so a lot more poised this time a lot more controlled so a good adjustment already from fight to fight for Corey Wyndham yeah Corey does a really good job of understanding range especially from MMA as kicks is like you know kind of his primary attack he can just fight a little longer Like a try for that angle pick there. Unsuccessful. Came right up into a double underhook. Body lock. Donovan doing a good job of breaking that. Just overhook with his left arm. Push that down. About 45 seconds left for Wyndham to do something here. Blood coming down the nose of Manuel. This is an interesting round because. Not, not a lot has happened, and not from a lack of trying. These guys are both throwing hard, but they're just they're so explosive with their defense and their movement and their entries. It's, both guys are struggling to land clean. Oh, mm. Ten seconds left. Oh my. <laughs> They're just going for it all now. <laughs> Donovan thought about a tornado kick right there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Donovan's looking for 10 million views on YouTube <laughs> just now. <laughs> That's how you go viral. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, interesting second round here from Donovan Manuel and Corey Windham. Really, again, a, a tough round to call. Had Donovan Manuel edging out the first one. I may have Corey Windham edging out this one. Yeah. And it could very easily be one to one. And and it just it looked like Corey landed the better of the punches. And Donovan could never really get anything landed. You know, he's throwing well, he's throwing hard, but it just felt like Corey landed a few more sniffing strikes than uh, than Donovan did. There's that tornado kick. Yeah, he lands that and finishes the fight with that. America knows Donovan Manuel tomorrow. All right, let's get round three going here. A lot of respect between these fighters. Quick timeout. Oops, my left water bottle in got there. A phone in, I forgot a phone in there. Oh, a phone. Yeah. Oops. That's a first. Leave it as a, for a timer. You know your one minute rig. An eye from super season referee Joe Higgs.
good pressure here. Oh. And again, just goes to show that really, you know, the fight IQ of Corey, the moment Donovan's been stalking him and letting his punches go, change levels. There's some party confetti on the chest of Corey. Yeah, one day. It is. And every once in a while, we're here at Escapades, they party hard on the weekends. And see some confetti coming, some renegade confetti coming out of somewhere. Love dropping confetti here. <laughs> I keep waiting for someone to inhale one of those one of these times. <laughs> also get that at Cowboys Dance Hall, which we will be back at, by the way, coming up in a couple of weeks. Yeah. Yuri FC 88. I'm trying that axe kick again. Left hand over the top there from Donovan. A tight here. Kick return there from Corey. Nice. There we go, a little pressure. But watch, if you see Donovan really open up, Corey will certainly change levels and try to take a shot. That's moments like that that, you know, throwing a combination, putting the pressure on, and a well timed knee coming as soon as yeah. that comes in. That's whenever you see those types of knockouts. Oh, oh man, oh man. Big punches there from Corey. Oh, big oh. body kick. I think Donovan's still hurt a little bit. Yeah, oh, no. Corey Wyndham is unloading. Is this going to be enough? Good eye for oh. Donovan. He's gifted a back kick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he gives it right back. He's like, oh, that's good. What is he complaining about? I'm not sure. Did the mouthpiece come out? Yeah, that's what it is. But can't stop the flurry. I mean. Okay, makes sense. Yeah. At least Donovan's side. If anything, if you know you want to get the mouthpiece in when you had him hold, held up with his back, hold it right there. Say mouthpiece, mouthpiece right now. <laughs> Nonetheless, we continue round three. Exciting finish here. Good flurry there from Corey. Big attack. Afraid Donovan needs to turn up the heat here a little bit because he may be down in this round because of that last flurry. He's definitely wobbled a little bit there. So, and that being the highlight of the third round so far, this could very easily be one to one. With, and if we finish right now with that as the highlight, I think that may roll in Corey Wyndham's favor. Big low kick from Donovan. This is such a volatile fight. Oh. As we get some cage work here, just a programming note, this will be our last fight for this prelims broadcast. We will have two swing bouts coming your way, including Mia Gras debut. And we will be heading to UFC Fight Pass at 4.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. Got oh my. seven fights. Oh, oh my. Uh-oh, uh -oh, is this going to be Oh, enough? man, no. it's not. Ten seconds left. Oh, uh oh Going crazy. Crazy wow, fight with this wow. guy. Super entertaining fight. <laughs> Edge your seat fight. That was a... Fun fight right there. Good moments for both fighters. Let's see how the judges will score this one. And again, this is our last fight for this prelims broadcast. We will have two swing bouts after our main card on UFC Fight Pass. We'll take a look at the highlights of round three.
Yeah, here you see both guys landing a little bit. Again, Alex, whenever Donovan would start to close that distance until this flurry right here. Saw Donovan was a little bit hurt. Flurry Wyndham trying to end this fight on this flurry. Oh, that's when the mouthpiece came out, right before that. Yeah, both fighters taking a little rest here before the last 15 seconds. And then just absolutely going at it. Bombs away there to finish the round. You had this jumping guillotine. Right, tough judges. fight, tough one to call. Tough one to call, yeah. I was going to say, this one is... And it, it, like even if you're feeling one way, we just don't know. The judges have been... A little bit harder to read today, so not sure. Don't even want to give the opinion here. All right, let's see how the judge discord officially. Here is Wayne Luggett. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of combat, we go to the judges.